Hello, my name is Michael. I'm a naturalist with the East Bay Regional Park District based at the Crab Cove Visitor Center in Alameda. And we made this video to show off the Crab Cove environment. Here we are at the rocky shore, a really amazing place. Kids love to explore around here. Adults do too. And for good reason. It's filled with life and sometimes a lot different animals live here. In fact, most of the time, a lot different, many different kinds of animals live here than in the mud flat. This is where we find crabs. And right now it's low tide, so they're hiding from the sun, from the air, and from predators, perhaps like you or me, but especially birds, right? So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go and turn over some rocks carefully, rocks smaller than our head, using hands to gently pick them up, try to find some crabs and hold them. But we'll see other things as well. Come on. Here's barnacles covering the rocks. Now, the closer you get down in terms of elevation, the more barnacles there are. As you go up towards the, you know, the land, the fewer and fewer barnacles you find until you don't see them anymore because they have to be underneath the water for a certain amount of time every day so that they can eat. Now this right here, these are living animals. All these are alive. This one, dead. It's just a shell left behind. The ones that are kind of like, you know, empty in the middle. But these are alive and when the tide comes in, they open up their shells and they take their legs and they catch food that's floating by with their legs. Can you imagine if we ate with our legs, you know? I don't think uh, our families would appreciate us, you know, eating our food with our feet or our legs because we usually eat with our hands and or utensils or something that we hold in our hands, right? Not them. For them, that's what they do. I know it seems weird to us. As babies, they, didn't know, they look nothing like this. They're floating through the water eating. As they grow and as they change and metamorphosize and become adults, they stick their necks to this rock and they grow their shell around them and then they become these adult barnacles like, like we see. Okay, stuck here for the rest of their lives. How would you like to live on a rock stuck to it for the rest of your life? Yeah, you, want, you don't think you would? Well, what if you were a barnacle? It's hard, kind of hard for us to imagine, but hey, for them, this is their home. Here we are trying to find crabs. Now, if you come here on your own, pick up rocks that are smaller than your head. Lift them straight up. If a crab's down there, it's gonna get scared, right? And it's gonna try to run away. Well, we ask that if you try to hold one, just do it really gently. Scoop it up, scoop it up like a cup and hold it like a cup. Don't hold it like this because it could crawl off and, and you know, hit the ground and get hurt. Hold it like a cup, turn your back to the sun so that it's in the shade because of course it doesn't like to be in the sun. That's not good for it. So hold it in the shade. Hold it for maybe a minute or two and then when you let it go, don't just let it go like way up there where you know it's not going to survive. Let it go down where the rocks are where it's going to get wet soon. And if you can't even let it go exactly where you found it, if that's possible because it'll crawl back under. Let's try. Oh, there's a crab. Oh, look, it crawled right under my hand. Good catch. Okay, I'm gonna try to put it into the shade. Oh, this is an active crab. Do you have any idea how many legs crabs have? Well, take a close look. They don't have eight. You have to count the two front pinchers. Those are also legs. Crabs have 10 legs. Do you notice how they walk sideways? One thing that's really interesting about crabs, of course, is that if their legs get pulled off, maybe by a predator or by some accident, they can grow them back. Wow, this is a very, very, very active crab. And it's a small one, so it's not gonna pinch you. And even if it did, it wouldn't hurt. Very few crabs at Crab Cove are big enough to hurt if they pinch. Look how camouflaged it would be. In the mud, it's really hard to see these. Okay, I think I've held it enough. I'm now gonna let it go and put it where it can go underneath a wet rock. Here's a nice puddle, and it'll be able to get wet and find another place to live. I hope you enjoyed this video about the Crab Cove Visitor Center's rocky shore and some of the amazing animals that live here. If you come to visit in the future, please be very gentle with the crabs and other animals that you may hold. Lift up rocks carefully with two hands, rocks that are smaller than your head, 
and only hold the crabs in your the shade of your body for just a little while before putting them back into a, a wet area where they can crawl underneath a rock. Thank you very much.